Hey you guys, PJD here. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be my annual Black Friday Get This Not That video part one. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to break this up and film over the course of a couple days moving up to or uh, as we approach Black Friday for 2018. But this is part one. I want to be able to film something today. So I'm now, and you already know whenever I'm filming these videos, typically my lighting is trash and I didn't want to disappoint today. So here we go. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. I needed just a space to be able to film this today. So now I'm going to start by taking it back to Black Friday 2017 because that's when I first purchased the first collection that I'm going to talk to you about. Uh, I know I'll be on sale or I shouldn't even say that. I know the site will be up and the item will likely be there. I cannot account for what the company will or will not do because in my opinion, last Black Friday was a little bit misleading, no, a lot misleading and slightly a bit of a disaster. Anywho, that's curls. So I was waiting for the curls site last year and I'm not talking about this product because this one I'm pretty sure I've reviewed already. In fact, I have, it's their blueberry and mint a tea scalp treatment. It's supposed to like grow your hair, whatever. I'll I'll show you or and also prevent itchy scalp. You can look at the ingredient list right now, just as I'm talking about other things. But anyhow, I wanted is that ever gonna focus? Okay. I wanted to get this last year, right? I just wanted to get more of it during Black Friday, and they typically have a 50% off sale. So I said, oh great, I can get this at half price and just stock up on lots of bottles because it's not for the hair growth portion of why I like to purchase this honestly and I've mentioned this before I like to use a little dropper and for the nights where I do use it I just put it on my scalp and it has such a tingling sensation it's just like I just melt asleep it is beautiful I enjoy it I like the tingling sensation I know some of you out there don't but anyway that was my whole purpose of really going to the site then they mentioned because uh, I was feeling oh I'll get that at 50% off then they introduced their caviar line which is what I'm about to um, discuss with you right now Okay, so they introduced the caviar line. I said, oh, well, great. And they sold it as a bundle. I don't remember what the bundle price was, but when you consider the individual prices, which I'll be listing on screen what these things cost individually, um, but that's not what I paid for the bundle because it was not only Black Friday, but she released that whole caviar line as a little bundle, whatever. And I'm sure it'll be on their site this year as well. Who knows whether or not they'll do a sale. But anyhow, so I purchased the bundle and um, the, the reason I was kind of not pleased with curls last year, and if you recall, one thing I can't stand is don't waste my time, right? So people were asking, specifically asked through Instagram, oh, is the caviar line your Black Friday sale? Because as of Black Friday, they had released no code about 50% off or whatever, because again, I was waiting on pins and needles because I wanted to get this. Um, and I had already purchased the caviar line when they released it as a bundle. For Black Friday, so or the day before Black Friday, whenever they did it, whatever. And whoever is handling their Instagram said consistently the messaging was, "Yes, we're doing something real. No, we're doing something really big. Make sure you're following us, or you have all your notifications on everywhere. We we are doing something major this year." And it was like, "Ooh, what's because fifty percent off is major in my book." So I'm thinking, what could they possibly be doing this year? Are they releasing another new collection or whatever? No, no, no. Black Friday came and went. Cyber, what, Small Business Saturday and Sunday came and went. Cyber Monday. People were still asking the same questions. Like, because, you know, they're like, hey, what's going on? The clock is ticking. When is this great sale coming on? Literally, Cyber Monday. This is going to be something we have never done before. Make sure you stay tuned. Cyber Monday came and went. And then someone from whoever was on Instagram said, oh, we released the caviar line. That's what we did this year. But something big is coming up soon. So stay tuned. If you don't. Ooh. Anyway, they almost got unfollowed on Instagram. I'm just saying um, <laughs> that was annoying. But anyhow, sorry. Um, so they had the. I know that was a complete departure from talking about the actual products, but it was super annoying last year. So this year, whether or not they have a sale, I probably won't even care, to be honest. One of you sent me through Instagram a link to what, and that's why I brought this over here, what Curls is going to be releasing this year. It is a Seek Help. It's called the Green Collection. It looks very much like Briagio's. They don't call it the green collection, Briagio. 
but um oh this lighting is gonna be annoying but there it is it is the be gentle be kind kale and apple they have a conditioner the um shampoo is also like has that green hue but it's more like a clear um not like this opaque kind of thing it's a clear shampoo and it is green in color like that you get the slight green hue that looks nearly identical to the pictures i saw including the packaging i'm not saying curls is biting but chomp chomp anyway so whatever i'm here to talk about caviar right now sorry let me stay focused um so i purchased the caviar line last year and I really, I mean, they kept promoting this and saying, you know, the caviar is going to be really magnificent for your hair. And I'll just show you on the packaging. The first one is the hair bath. And I was drawn to this because, look at this, look at this. I've never seen shampoo that was black before. So I thought, oh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I, I just thought that was really nice. And it has, I don't know, what's the scent? It smells, um, slightly perfumey but not not a heavy perfume it's fine it's not like you know whatever it's fine um so it says it's supposed to repair restore and protect textured hair uh it has some little information on all the bottles about caviar and how it's supposed to strengthen your hair i will let you see the ingredients right there if this will not be horrible okay there we go right so let me just switch it around so you can see some of the things right so you can see the aloe juices in here um it has castor seed oil and again this is the shampoo and it also has activated charcoal in this right so okay I thought great the the black color it's lovely <laughs> let me give it a go um oh and the other thing is they have this piece on here and I'm just going to read this too because the print may be a bit small but it's also on their website why cashmere because this is the cashmere and caviar line it says just like the name implies cashmere extracts leave hair feeling luxuriously soft and stronger since cashmere proteins support the natural protein found in your hair blah 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 and then they have about why caviar caviar is a rich source of vitamin a and vitamin d along with omega-3 fatty acids vitamin a helps to produce healthy sebum which will prevent your hair from drying out and breaking off okay so this line is supposed to really strengthen your hair but also make it soft and lovely i thought this was such a regular degular shampoo i was i don't know why i thought it really from the promotion to you know the packaging is different and all that i just thought this was going to be it right and then, and then I used it and I was like, okay, well, this is just the shampoo portion. So maybe it gets better. Like, it's not that my hair felt um, stripped or anything. It did feel clean. Look, a shampoo is supposed to clean your hair. Did it feel as if it had been cleansed? Yes, right? My hair felt totally clean. No residue left behind. Great. Um, this is priced at, I believe this one individually, and I'll put it down below, but it's, it's certainly no less than $15. I feel like it may have been $19, but this one may be $15. Okay, to pay $15 for a shampoo, which of course on the market you can get shampoos that are cheaper than that. Um, I, I'm expecting something, especially if you're telling me about the cashmere and the caviar, I'm expecting it to be so nourishing for my hair that it does more than just cleanse it. This did not do more than just cleanse my hair, right? It literally just made it clean. It's not as if I had extra detangling uh, abilities from this. It was fine. A scale of one to 10 in terms of getting my fingers through my hair while this product is in here and I'm trying to cleanse my hair, I would say 10 being the most detangling effect. I would say this was at a six and a half, seven. Again, so better than like maybe your VO5 shampoo or something like that from the store you know it's, it's better than the average thing you would get in the drugstore but it wasn't so far superior to it that I felt it warranted that price that was just me right so that is the hair bath as it's called from the curls line now remember this is don't get this get that right and not everything is going to be a direct comparison because there are some things that I'm just going to tell you lots of, oh, get this, get this, I like it. But if I am comparing that line to another line, which I tried for the first time last um, Black Friday, 2017, and I hope I am not butchering the name Adwa. <laughs> um, so I bought their entire collection as well. It wasn't as a bundle. I bought them individually. Actually, she had that sale and I think she had um, a, like a, something 
at the top of this year, like once uh, January 1st hit, I feel like she did another sale or something like that. But anyhow, I remember in, in close range, or maybe it was a sale in December, I remember buying the initial products, whatever they were, and then I re-upped on things because there was something from this line I'm about to talk about in just a bit that knock your socks off. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know what it is. But anyhow, so I, I purchased their shampoo. And you know what made me want to, and you know I do chatty stuff, right? So let me just talk for a second. And I'm going to show you the ingredient list uh, on the back. And it's it's a pretty lengthy one. Um, okay, so I was learning about that company, this company last Black Friday, if it can focus. I was learning about this company and I said, oh, okay, great. Oh, there we go. Um, as you can see, they also have aloe leaf juice in their shampoo as well, just like curls. So anyhow, I was saying, okay, I'm learning about this company. Here's the owner of the company, learning a little bit about her. Great. I saw a video of her on YouTube where she was talking about her brand and Jamaican black castor oil. Boom. So anyhow, I was listening to her and what I thought was most impressive because at first I was like, oh, I'll just get the deep conditioner, a small jar because she sells it eight ounce and also 16. But then when I heard her talk about the shampoo, I, I just her honesty was so impressive to me because she was talking about the products in her line. And she said, you know, a shampoo is a shampoo. It's going to cleanse your hair. And she was not even going on like this was the shampoo of all shampoos. And I was like, you know what, because every company owner, I feel like they hype every single product, which I understand it's their their brand their product whatever but she just it's not like she was speaking poorly of it she was just saying like you know it's it's a shampoo <laughs> you know she wasn't you know uh going through hoops about it though she liked it obviously it's her, her product and she felt it would be good for lots of different hair types but um you know for kinky hair but um I don't know I was just drawn to that and I said you know what I'm putting that shampoo in the basket and let me tell you well I'm a person who as I already mentioned I appreciate a tingle and you may have seen that there were some um, oils on here but it has wintergreen oil it has peppermint oil you're, you're sensing a little theme here and yes as it's on your scalp it has um baobab baobab if I'm baobab oil <laughs> in here as well and uh, glycerin, a bunch of other things with which hopefully you read through on the ingredient list. But and it smells minty, all, like all. I'm gonna sniff some of them again just to be sure. But definitely the shampoo is minty, and we'll talk about some of the other products later. But it tingles on my scalp, lathers beautifully. Um, I'm able to get my fingers through it. It feels moisturized. So this is what I'm talking about: doing more than just cleansing, right? So lots of shampoos can cleanse right so this is a cleanser and I can get a low level a bit of detangling abilities or properties through here it allows me to kind of get through it a little bit you know whatever it's fine better than average this allows me to detangle better than this I'm not saying this is the best detangling shampoo I've ever used because I'll later on in maybe part three or four of this video talk about another one that I think is probably the best one that I'm going to be showing this year um in terms of detangling but anyway this is a nice shampoo but it also tingles on my scalp and my hair is left feeling moisturized so I like it um I like this so much more than this so I would say get this which again is not sold as a bundle the moisturizing see it right there bow mint moisturizing shampoo with peppermint oils and yes you will feel those oils and I love it and don't get this uh the hair bath from curls and I didn't show you gosh this is why these videos go so long I didn't show you the uh, appearance of this one so both of them if you'll notice not necessarily super runny conditioners um conditioners uh shampoos look at this because as I put them on see how neither one of them are like necessarily running down my arm these are not like well the the curls one if anything is starting to have a little bit more movement but they're both kind of mm, I don't want to say thick but kind of um you know they're they have some stick to it to it you know and it doesn't mean that you can't lather them well you can you absolutely can you can get a nice lather off of both of them just even putting the Adua one on my hand just now I feel the tingle this is up my alley I really like this one especially in comparison right so I've spent an extraordinarily long time just talking about that time to move it along to the next thing in the collection right so then after you shampoo obviously you want to condition this is the conditioner also from curls this is their again uh, called their hair mask now you can 
Oh, let me tell you one thing that annoyed me about this. Um, for this packaging, you are not going to find, and let me make sure I'm not lying. Yeah, you're not going to find instructions like, yes, you know how to use a shampoo, you know how to use a conditioner, but this mask doesn't say like, leave it on for 15 minutes, use heat or whatever. And I'm sure by this time, she kind of knows her target audience and they have used a mask before and likely know what they want to do or what they can do with it. Um, but isn't it's not on the jar right so okay whatever so leave it on for as long as you want i suppose but it says this is a luxurious hair mask infused with cashmere and caviar extracts antioxidants and vitamins to strengthen and smooth your hair uh, it helps to repair any scalp damage and promotes faster hair growth and of course a healthier scalp you know whether or not my scalp is healthier having used this i don't know um i don't believe i have any scalp damage so it likely didn't repair anything there did my hair feel strengthened using this no not necessarily i'm going to talk to you about this conditioner right now um that's all I had left and I literally would have already finished this other than I wanted to be able to show you some products so you can kind of see it maybe moving in the jar a little bit but let me look it's a creamy one you know whatever let's see how it rubs into my skin look at that kind of disappeared right uh kind of sort of for the most part all right it's rubbing in it's not heavy even though I know it's a, a cream yep no and it's not falling over right it's just doing that slow slide so it's not um heavy even though it's creamy right but it's not like those heavy boom it's just sitting on your hair it can kind of be absorbed into your hair I don't think I discussed scent with you oh I did for the other one right same kind of thing a, a lighter version of that slightly perfumey scent that I described it doesn't smell bad at all it's, it's fine whatever um so yeah so that particular product goes on it makes my hair feel more conditioned than the hair bath right so after i use the hair bath the shampoo um this brings a bit more moisture to the the game and my hair starts feeling uh, you know a tad bit moisturized more than the hair bath left it feeling not tons more <laughs> it was just okay now i'm not going to this is not a bash for this because what i am going to say is um it up my ability to detangle right so that happened and usually you would want that to happen with your um conditioner or in this case the mask you'd want that to happen and yes my fingers can get through it uh better than with just the hair bath in it as i was washing it out so yes uh on a scale of one to ten being able to detangle i would say this one is like at a seven and a half so again not bad able to get my fingers through it. i wash it out and when you wash it out here's the thing when you wash it out or when i wash it out let me speak specifically of my experience i felt like um nothing like it didn't feel special at all however however this is where we get the uptick when i did wash it out um and you know starting to dry my hair then it felt it really did feel soft and it felt like oh there is some life it how does it feel slightly more moisturized after it's dry and the water is coming out and more manageable than when it's wet and like the product is in it but i don't know it hey it's it, it, it felt better okay so after my hair uh, and I allowed it to air dry so I can get a feeling of how you know this product operates and how my hair would feel with it definitely feels like you need to follow up with a moisturizer or something like that I'm not saying like oh this felt so moisturized that I didn't need to follow up with anything yeah I know I need to follow up with something but it still felt manageable and it felt um soft and I liked you know a cottony soft uh, head of hair so that's fine it was good this this is good but this is not and if i recall this is twenty dollars this, this is not twenty dollars good to me so i will not be getting this again this but i was going to do spoiler alert on the entire line but anyway i'm not getting this particular item again this is again the um hair mask from the caviar cashmere and caviar curls line it was good but it wasn't great so i'm not spending 20 bucks on it uh, I really don't care what your Black Friday sale is. Now we now we come. The champ is here. This one from Ajua. This is their Bow Mint Deep Conditioning Treatment. And with winter mint, if you saw that part. Here's the ingredient list. It looks pretty lengthy. <laughs> there we go. If it'll come in focus. Okay, you can read all of these ingredients here. Let me tell you. And again, tingly feeling on the scalp, which again, I like. And of course, all these th things... I haven't said it explicitly, but no sulfates, no parabens, and that goes for the curls line as well. So there you go. You can see all of those things right there. This one, 
and I still smell that. Ooh, open that and boom, mintiness right in my eyes. Okay, so this and literally I have gone through two or three of the big jars this is the, the big jar this is the 16 ounce and because the first thing I think I bought from it was the 8 ounce because I just wasn't sure you know it was I was new to the line and I got that during Black Friday but then when she had that other sale which was either in December or January um I bought I started buying the larger size of like everything and um this is all this is all I could manage to salvage uh, to be able to show you consistency because anytime I was using it I was like they don't need to see like a whole jar. I, could, I just want to use more. Melt into my hair. This is an amazing deep conditioner. Let me start there. Melt into my hair. It has like a cooling feeling, especially following up after like that um, minty kind of shampoo that they have, their moisturizing shampoo. It allows my fingers to glide through it because your fingers may not glide. Okay, your fingers will glide through much better having put this on your hair after the conditioner. I was fine with detangling and kind of getting my fingers through my hair with the moisturizing shampoo for sure. But this one made it like 10 times better. Glides through. My hair feels soft and great and moisturized with this product in it as I wash it out towel dry or air dry. My hair still feels like a soft little cotton ball not cotton like the prickly cotton but just think of a soft cloud feels cloud like just going to show you the um consistency of that so it looks it is thicker than what you just saw from curls even though I may have definitely <laughs> may have had a, a larger amount here now this is looking like oh it's not rubbing in it's not rubbing in it's going to stay on the surface why am I yelling sorry it's going to stay on the surface of my hair but no it really does absorb well and I'm feeling again that cooling tingling feeling uh, on my hand spoiler alert on on the best of list I really really like this conditioner she had a sale just the other day I went to buy the 16 ounce without a doubt it was completely sold out and I stayed up hello I stayed up that was midnight I went on a few minutes after midnight and it was already done the 16 ounce I specifically wanted the 16 ounce but anyhow um, she did reveal that she's going to do a Black Friday sale. <laughs> so hopefully I catch you that. And she said she would restock the 16 ounce by, or she said she would restock the deep conditioner by then. Hopefully the 16 ounce is included there. But yeah, that is it. Thick and consistency makes my hair feel soft. Uh, detangling is like such a breeze. If you, especially if you're a person whose hair will like tangle up again quickly, please try this. Please, please, please try this deep conditioning treatment. Um, my hair just melts with this in it no tangles or anything can stand a chance next to this conditioner um, I love how it makes my scalp feel I love how it makes my hair feel soft I can detangle it feels moisturized and that's even after my hair dries beautiful now yes do you still need to follow up with something I would say yes you know it's not meant that you just use this and you're good for the week no, you still want to you know put a moisturizer in or you know styler and there are some other things in the collection I'll talk to you about but this to me hands down is the champion of this Ajua line this deep conditioner is out of sight so in comparison to many of the deep conditioners that I'll probably talk about in this uh, series leading up to Black Friday this is on my list this is the winner get this please um yeah and give it a try and if you try it let me know what you think of it please but yeah really really nice man um yeah my hair was thankful next up is what I don't see listed on the list anymore from curls this was their moisture complex or what she used to call it but now I see a thing called um hair silk so and I don't see moisture complex so perhaps she's renamed it I don't know but this is supposed to moisturize your hair so like after you shampoo and you condition then you put this thing on which is clear you're about to see yeah so it's like it may look like it's a, a serum but it's it's not really a serum it's like a it's weird it's like a moisture it's like feels a little more viscous than water right so it's a little thicker than water um the feeling of water it feels like it is a cross between a serum and a serum and I don't want to say an oil because it doesn't feel oily. That is not the feeling that I get from this. But here's the problem. As I just rub my it between my fingers, it's like it 
evaporated, but not evaporated as if I never put anything on. Have you ever felt the feeling of putting alcohol on something and it kind of dries, like it's cooling, it dries, it evaporates, but you have that like feeling like something was there, but it feels like alcohol is making this evaporate from my hand right now, even though you still kind of see the shine right there. By the way, this shine does not remain on my hair, but this moisture, compl moisture complex uh, from the Cashmere and Caviar line is supposed to make your hair feel moisturized. And it says on the bottle, drench your thirsty tresses in pure cashmere, soften and moisturize dry damaged tresses, leaving them healthy and manageable with bounce and shine. No ma'am, no shine, no bounce. Well, you know, maybe someone else's hair type would bounce. So no bounce here, no shine here. Uh, this is a how many ounce bottle? This is a eight ounce bottle. You already saw the consistency of it. And oh, here's the other thing that I don't like. Because remember I told you about instructions? This doesn't say apply on dry hair, apply on wet hair. Your hair should be damp. So I've tried it in a variety of ways just to figure out what the flow of this particular product is supposed to be. But the results were the same. No shine, no bounce. It's okay. Um, the scent is similar to the rest of the line. Mm, this one, mm, maybe. This one maybe slightly more of a, a sweet note to it but it's, it's not sweet but it, I mean it smells fine um they all smell fine but um yeah this is the moisture complex <laughs> there you see and uh yeah makes my hand look shinier than it makes my hair and that's kind of it for the moisture complex definitely wouldn't buy this again once it's done I will never look at it again ever um and again not that it's bad or dried out my hair and you can do twists with it because I've done that I've tried to like twist my hair and then unraveled it like once it's all dry just to see you know what it feels like and it just dries down to as if I put nothing in it <laughs> so it just felt like a nothing part of the process so it yeah it was that now it okay let me be fair it felt better than if I had really put in absolutely nothing in it okay so if I had done absolutely nothing in it and I used not great products then my hair could feel super dry and that made it feel slightly better than that scale of 1 to 10 on how moisturized my hair feels with this moisture complex I would say it feels like a 6 okay a 6 a 6 let me let me preface that a six with using really great products that's giving it a good foundation so after I use this on some really good shampoo conditioner that has my hair feeling great then I put this on my hair will dry down because of this product with a six so it downgrades the great things that have preceded it which is why I'm not a fan of this product now if I use trash products that would leave my hair feeling like a two after it's um, dried this would make it feel slightly better than the trash that it was left feeling and it would bring it to a level let's say three but it does nothing of moisturizing my hair and making it feel like this outstanding anything so it it elevates it higher than if it had been you know let me try and rephrase okay so if I'm using really bad products right it can elevate it slightly okay but it's never ever bringing my hair to the point even when I use great products it's never bringing it to the point where my hair feels amazing ever this is not a, a thing that I would say is moisturizing for my hair and even when I'm giving it the best foundation not the items from curls but even when I'm using my best of the best I feel like it brings it down right but because those products that preceded it were so great it's not going to bring it down to like a four or three or two as if I had used bad products on my hair it's just not bringing it to the level that I know my hair can reach even if I had left just the results of that shampoo and conditioner hopefully that part is clear <laughs> so yeah so it that's why I said it can bring it to a six if I use really great products but it's actually downgrading what those great products had done to my hair so um not not a not a fan right uh, but because those products are so great it's not going to bring me to a three or a two because that's what's really the supporting element right so like I'm saying like if I had used the Azure conditioner that thing is so strong and so powerful that you're not you're not going to bring me all the way down but you're not going to let me be as great as I could be uh if you were a better moisturizer to follow up that great Adwa conditioner so the next thing now for kind of going head to head man this is long and I didn't even finish the collection 
sorry. Um, <laughs> the next thing is the Ajoa. Um, I, I'm going to keep this on the same level. This is not called a moisturizer. Well, let me use this one first because Ajoa's line actually has six items and the cashmere and caviar has five. So these two are kind of put on par with after you've washed out the deep conditioner, you could follow it with either or both of these if you want. So let me start with the Balmint Leave-In Conditioning Styler, right? So it's a conditioning styler. So this is like your leave-in, just like that moisture complex is what you would leave in as well. Um, and it has spearmint oils in this one and winter mint. Let me show you. This is like a thick cream, but not as thick as the other cream I'm about to show you. Okay, so this is their leave-in cream. As you can see, it wasn't sliding down my arm. I'm just gonna leave that kind of like that so I can show you at the same time, and I'll show you the ingredients in just a sec. This is their Bow Mint Curl, Con uh, Curl Defining Cream, right? And it looks like that, it's thick cream, um, but mm, ever so light. It's thick, but in the, like in the container, but it's not like a, it feels like a, a little, a little good, I don't know, a little soft moisturizer or something. Okay, let me come over here. Right. Okay. So they look similar, <laughs> obviously, right? Like two white creams on my hand. Um, this one over here, the, the leave-in feels like, okay, th that's not really like um, absorbing in as quickly. This one, see that? It looks a little bit more, does it not? Like it's going in a little bit more in the hair. Mm, maybe, maybe not. It looks like it thinned out a little bit more than the other one did or maybe they look pretty similar but anyhow um these were okay for me these are not like i definitely need to have these in my collection again and again the strength of the conditioner is what made me get like <laughs> these additional products from uh the line and this is her 12 ounce for the leave-in styler and i'll have the price listed below and this is her 16 ounce for the curl defining cream Okay, so, and both of them have instructions on them. Here's the uh, ingredient list for the Curl Defining Cream. You can see that right there. So I put it in. Also, let me just tell you, it gives great, good, you can see the ingredients good there. Uh, it gives me great definition if you're doing like twist outs and things like that. Great definition. As you can see, it has the peppermint oil and stuff. Now from this, I don't get like a tingling on my scalp or anything like that. Maybe because it's really going on my hair, not necessarily on my scalp because I don't put this on my scalp necessarily. So that would explain that. Um, um, but yeah, there's the ingredient list. Hopefully you were able to catch all of that. Also has that minty scent. Uh, you know, I put it on my hair. It does well with defining my twists when I unravel them. But it it doesn't feel like they're really moisturized. Like my hair is hard to moisturize. So this doesn't really moisturize my hair so well. It would need to be paired with something else. And even if I pair it with the styler, which I'm going to show you the ingredient list for this as well. And this one has glycerin for anyone who like cares about this. It also has shea butter in it. It has, um, oh, well, hello. I'll let you look at that on your own. But yeah, here it is, right? The complete ingredient list. I'm just going to scroll just a bit it has coconut oil in here and some other things nettle which i do love nettle so you'll see that kind of stuff in here as well lavender oil a bunch of different things okay so but yeah so i put this on my hair and it feels okay like my twist even with this the styler defined nice but nothing really feels the level of moisture it doesn't bring it to the point of being as moisturized as I like or need my hair to feel because my hair is generally excessively dry so they don't necessarily help in that department but as stylers um sure if you want to have like defined twists and stuff like that I think both of them work well but I think you could also do that at a cheaper price point so these two items are not on my Black Friday uh list to, to purchase either of these again um but I would purchase these before I purchase the Moisture Complex again because these I have used and paired with. This is not my only jar of this. This is like my second jar of this because um, I think I had ordered two. Again, that conditioner was so impressive that I was like, oh, this line is going to be everything. <laughs> so I ordered, um, you know, how I order. Anyway, uh, PJ Life. <laughs> so... Anywho, so I've been through a jar of this already and I understand that, you know, pairing it with other things, you can make it work better, but still that's me pairing it with something else to up the moisture of the hair. I can pair it with, I'm, I'm probably not going to talk about this because I did talk about it in my last some video. Um, I think it was the, yeah, I think I spoke about it last Black Friday, did I not? Anyway, it was the Camille Rose Lavender Spray. Um, 
that I feel is an amazing moisturizer. So if I really, really drench my hair in that, that is gonna give me the moisture. Then I can follow it with something like this or this in order to get the definition, you know, cause the Camille Rose Styling Spray, which I can show it later, but it's not kind of the focus of this video cause I've spoken about it before. That one will give me the moisture, but it's not gonna necessarily give me the type of hold because it's like so moisturized that, especially if you're using it throughout the week, it can get more mushy gushy than having the hold, but these can help bring back the hold. But again, there are other ways I can achieve that for a cheaper price point. So I'm not going to get these two items again. And then the last thing that I'm going to talk, well, kind of last thing for these two lines. And I'm sorry, this is taking so long on these two lines alone. But we have this, the Hair Jelly from Curls. And it's like a cloudy white color. There we go. That's the gel. It's not, don't think like Eco Styler gel. It's not that kind of gel. As you can see, it's sliding just a little bit. This is more gel like, um, it, it's, a, it's a soft gel and it's not going to give you a hard cast. This is not something also that I would feel like if you want to lay your edges, you would use that kind of, it's, it's a jelly. So it um, gives you a slight hold with the hair. This one actually, do I want to say this smells the best? Uh, they all have a similar scent. Kind of, but this one has more. I don't know. It's this smells like something you could find. It smells like salon quality. You know how salon brands have like certain scents, right? So this smells like something that could be in the salon. That's not a bad thing. Um, so yeah, so here, here we go. That's the jelly, and you can use it for twisting your hair and all sorts of things like that. Um, and it says style while you reconstruct and strengthen your stressed and damaged hair light hold with added sheen and definition no sheen for me but again my hair is hard to reflect um, shine not too many products can get that to happen so okay let's just kind of cancel that out maybe your hair will shine uh, definition I thought the definition was fine light holds I agree with that which is why I said it's not like you're going to use this to hold down your edges or anything like that it's fine. It's not amazing. Does not leave my hair feeling moisturized. But again, did it say that it would? It says, um, yeah, no, it didn't say that would. So yeah, it doesn't. It's just a jelly. And that's what it does on the hair. Will you even be able to see the ingredient list between the light white color and then the lighting, which is my fault and it being trash? Maybe not, but I'll try. Oh, yeah, there you go. Water, glycerin. There we go. Oh, yay. Okay, good. So you can see the ingredient list right there. Pause it, please, if you need to go back. Castor oil, all that stuff. So anyway, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Um, so that's their jelly. And now let me show you Azua's Curl Defining Gel. Now it says Balment Moisturizing Curl Defining Gel. Okay, now this consistency you're going to see is totally different. Look, it's a wiggly, jiggly. Listen, you can hear it's a wiggly jiggly type of uh, gel if I were to flop this thing over it would all come flying out it's actually and this is one thing that I noticed about when I got it it's actually like kind of as you I'm holding it down like this it's separating from the jar see that space right there so that's one of those wiggly jiggly I don't even want to say pudding because it's more like a it's a different consistency than pudding but yeah there it is that's the gel for Azua it is easy to use um let me see if I can give you a little right there it's creamy. Uh, let me put it down here. <laughs> Messy video. It is creamy. There we go. Too much lighting. Oh, maybe you can see it that way. Okay. But yeah, so it's here. I can twist my hair with it. Nice definition on my hair, but I didn't feel like it was a moisturizing gel at all. Um, and that's not to say that it made it feel hard and stiff and things like that. No, it felt it felt, uh, it looked defined, I should say, uh, but it felt normal. Didn't feel like it added any level of moisture to my hair. This is not something that I would repurchase, but I can get my use out of it, if that makes sense. Like, again, because I can pair it with other things. And the other thing I need to say about the Azua line is Azua, Azua, is that I feel like it pairs well with other things. So I can finish and use up these products because I can couple them with other things that may work better for my hair. And then I can still get the results of whatever this particular thing was supposed to do for my hair you know whether it's allowing definition or what have you but then I can pair it with something else without it flaking or going crazy because it's not using making use of another agile product it, it can work well with others so I'm happy about that but again for that price point do I want to have to pair it with something else not really so that's you know and that is what it is um and then the last item is the hair serum from curls 
so you know it's a serum I'll show you what it looks like it was so not unimpressive to me um this one now it really it looks like the jelly kind of but slightly thinner and consistency because it's kind of sliding down a little faster as you can see boom as I kind of just pressed on it it turns into more of like an oil right so it's more oil like than anything um you know you put it on your hair you will have shine uh instantly but then okay that's great um you will get that shine see how it just put a little shine right there all right, so put some shine, but that shine is not long lasting, at least not for my hair. Maybe for your hair, that shine would last all day, but um, not for me. <laughs> and then I guess I would compare that to um, the Bow Mint Oil Blend with Winter Mint and Spearmint Oils from, it's just a bunch of oils from Ajwa. That's their little oil treatment. The thing I do like about this oil, it's a bunch of different oils. Look at the ingredient list. Come on in the focus, please. Uh, there we go. Okay, so you see the first thing, right? Soybean oil. You have grapeseed oil. There is my hair at the side. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so you, of course, you're going to have tea tree oil and just a another lavender oil here. I see the inclusion of rosemary, lemongrass oil, a bunch of different oils. It smells really minty. That's kind of the theme of this Azure line. It smells minty. But this one, if you put this on your hair, oh, see how quickly that just ran down? Okay, it is a, a loose oil, right? It's a bunch of oils, but I feel like it absorbs into my hair well without making it necessarily feel greasy. But again, with the shine, the shine is not long lasting for me. Let me try and put some more on. It is not long lasting or anything like that for me, but you know, hey, it does the job kind of I suppose at least for the moment in terms of me sealing I think it's a nice thing as a sealer like if I wanted to put that on top of something else because it doesn't feel like ugh, just a heavy oil just sitting on my hair but again for the price point I can do that with other oils or other um, oil formulated uh, products or oil based products from other lines so I don't necessarily need to go the Adderwa lot route though I do like um the vibe of the owner. I like that they use tape with interesting packaging, even when you get your um, your your box and everything. So I, I like the packaging of it. I like the actual line. So if you're doing line versus line, I would say get this versus, you know, let's say the cashmere caviar line, though both of them have elements and things that I would or would not purchase again. But again, the overall winner is going to be the Ajua Deep. If, if you buy, I don't want to say if you buy nothing out this Black Friday, because there are a couple of other things that I feel we, we need to discuss. But this is if, if you can manage to put this on your list, this would be great. This video already is way too long. My apologies. I'm going to have to break this up and now do some other things because I actually have another collection I need to talk about. And the other things are just kind of random scatterings. I also did get... Oh, let me show you. This will appear in one portion of the video. I'm not sure where. The Gabrielle Union. Not the whole line. I just got the conditioner. We'll talk. <laughs> We'll talk, we'll talk about that. But anyway, thank you for watching part one. Before I put, and I hope to get this part up today, if you can think of any other items that you are hoping that I talk about, please put list them below if, if you get the chance to, because then I would like to slip this in and do it as a part of, you know, one of the other videos that I end up filming before Black Friday arrives, which is this coming week. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support and we'll talk soon. Bye.